Hi, welcome back everyone. In this video, I will show you how to set up your own Moodle cloud site. As we've seen in the Moodle introduction video, Moodle offers a few different products, which is a bit confusing because they're all the same learning management system, just the environment they operate in is different. So you have Moodle to download for free and host on your own computer or server, which is for organizations that have the infrastructure and resources to do so, which is the do-it-yourself option here. This is mainly for universities. So as an university academic, you don't have to worry about creating a cloud site because your IT team has already taken care of that. Then you have the second option. Um, to have your personal learning management system set up by certified Moodle partners, which to be honest is quite expensive, but can make sense for businesses who need a very unique setup um, to their teaching approach. This option also includes a special learning management system for businesses with a focus on things like staff training or work introduction models. But again, you don't have to worry about setting up a cloud site because this is done by the certified Moodle partner. Lastly, we have the third option, the Moodle in a cloud environment, which takes away the hosting from you and makes your Moodle site accessible through the web. So educators and students can access the learning pages from wherever they want. And this is the best solution for especially small and medium teaching institutions or individual teachers. And this is also the option that we're going to set up in this video. So to start, you want to go to moodle.com, not moodle.org. Then you hover your mouse over products and select Moodle Cloud from the drop-down menu. Scroll down a little bit and you will see all the options that are available for you from starter package to the large package. When you click on the plus here, you will see the details of each plan. By the way, the free version is here when you scroll a little bit further down. That's the free trial version. But let's say you want to go for the starter version. You simply click on Buy Now, which opens up a new tab. We then want to create a new account. You will then have to agree on a few things. One, two, three, four, and click Next. You will then have to provide a couple of details, but just make sure that your mobile number and also your email address is really the correct one because they're required later for authentication and also for login. If you have your organization, you can also provide the details here, obviously. Don't tick this box, you'll just get spammed and click next. Step two is very important because you're gonna provide the name of your site so this could be the name of your business, your institution, or your actual name. But remember that this will be the public URL, so the internet address of your online learning site. If you type the name in there, Moodle checks for you if it's available and displays the entire URL that you will get. So my entire URL would be now the name that I typed in here, .moodlecloud.com. So no matter what, it will always have the .moodlecloud.com behind your name, since this is the cloud service. If you want entirely your own name, you would have to host Moodle yourself. Next, you choose in which country your site should be hosted. This should be the country closest to you or closest to your students for maximum speed. Then you just provide whatever your intentions are to use Moodle and click once again, next. You will then receive a verification code in your email account, and that's why it's important to provide the correct email address in the first step. You simply provide the send code and click next. You put in a password, you repeat the password and click next. Now you select the payment method, let's say this one here, provide your card details and click on make payment. So in the last step they give you a little bit to read but you just click thanks take me to my Moodle site now. And here we go welcome to your very own Moodle learning management site. On the top right 
you can see your name and now let's try to log out and log in again to log out you simply click on this arrow here next to your profile image and then click log out so now we're going to close this tab and open an entirely new tab just to show you that our site is now publicly available on the internet so i type in my url and you remember that was my name that i provided in the sign up process .moodlecloud.com and click enter and it will take me to the site where i can now log in again because i am automatically the first user of my site so for everyone who just created the site the username is admin which you should probably change later when you're logged in again and then the password is obviously the password that you provided during the sign up process login and back we are on our fresh learn online site well done everyone thanks a lot for watching